Back now with separating truth from fiction. We usually do this during political season, but the truth tracker is running on coronavirus. There are way too many things about the sickness on social media that are just plain wrong. Tonight on your side, Stephanie Harris has been out in front of our coverage and she took your questions straight to the experts. There's a lot of advice out there on the internet about what to eat, what to wear, what not to wear. I sat down with infectious disease expert Dr. Edward Oldfield from Eastern Virginia Medical School to get some advice that is truly on your side. You can't escape the memes or the myths. Coronavirus has infected our social media feeds. You may have read that sitting in a sauna or sipping hot tea will protect you. Dr. Edward Oldfield confirms heat will kill the virus, but at a temperature that's too hot to handle. But it's 158 degrees for 38, 30 minutes. And, you know, if you get 140 degrees is, uh, is scalding water. How about gargling with warm water and vinegar or lemon? I don't think that that's going to help. There is some data on Listerine, uh, and Listerine has alcohol in it, uh, and that has been shown to kill herpes viruses. It has not been specifically tested on coronavirus, but it won't hurt you. Neither will wearing a necktie. That advice, he says, came from a study on bacteria in hospitals. I have not been a great fan of that, as you can see. I've still got a tie on. And he's added something else to his wardrobe this week. I wore a mask today, and when I go outside, I'm wearing a mask. If I have to go to the pharmacy, I have a mask on. If I go to the grocery store, I'm going to have a mask on. You don't need an N95, Oldfield insists. Save those for health care workers. A cloth mask or even a bandana will work. Studies found masks help prevent the chances of getting SARS, another respiratory illness, by 68 percent. Hand washing decreased chances by 57 percent. So do both. And if you've got melatonin, zinc, and vitamin C, take it. Melatonin modulates your immune system. Zinc has antiviral agents, and vitamin C helps with both. It's safe. It's inexpensive, you can't hurt yourself, and if it works, um, you're ahead of the game, especially if you're over uh, 60. It's important to take those supplements correctly, so I put the recommended dosages on this story on wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.